Hello and welcome to my self talks. Today I will be speaking about male and female energy, male and female principle, and how and why we should implement female energy into our work and into our daily lives more than we did. So let's go into it. <sighs> when speaking about female and male energy, I do not speak about male and female bodies, even though, of course, we do have um, representation of these energies in male and female bodies. Uh, but you know, it's not 100% that when you have female body that you will have only female energy. Actually, there should be some sort of balance in it. And this balance is very much linked to, um, to the hormonal balance in the body. Uh, believe it or not, that um, the cycles and the energy, male or female, is very much linked to the body through the hormones. So this is something interesting to think about because it gives us sort of like a grounded perspective on this spiritual topic. And also a physical application. Well, I want to primarily speak about female and male cycles. And by cycles, as I already told you, uh, these circles, cycles are hormonal, but also energetical. And why should we be aware of it? Because it actually defines how we will work and how much energy we will have at some point of the day or month or just our cycle. So that's how we can plan when to do what. It's really good to know your cycles because you will support your energy and thus you will have easier work life, let's say. You will not push yourself to do things that you are not um, prepared to do and that would cost you a lot of energy in one cycle or at one point of the cycle and uh, because you will know that if you wait and do something that you should do now that corresponds to that point where you are energetically and hormonally uh, you will have more energy afterwards when you will get to that cycle again to that point of the cycle um, now let's make it a little bit more concrete. So, female cycles correspond to the moon cycles. So, it lasts one month. And uh, male cycles correspond to the sun. Even male energy is a lot represented in as sun and uh, female energy as moon. So you can see it in loads of symbols and mythologies and stuff like that. Um, and why is that? Well, because the hormonal cycle of a man um, is like a sun. Uh, it's on its peak in the morning and it's um, on its lowest point uh, in the evening and then through the night it gets again replenished and in the morning poof <laughs> you're there again 
you have plenty of energy and it represents in your um, sexual preparedness let's say so now you know how physically you are linked to the cycle of the sun and now how moon affects uh, female bodies well obviously with menstruational cycle and you have four um, four stages in the cycle it's usually one week for one stage and it usually is that um, the first week after menstruation you are in your active phase uh, good for making any sort of like not only plans but really um, do uh, the most work you can because uh, you're on your energetical highest peak and this uh, even like archetype corresponds to the maiden or virgin or just a female without children so it's even a little bit similar to the male energy it's very active and dominant and you can do a lot in this stage when it's prepared in the previous stages and after that you have a stage of a mother so when you're two weeks after menstruation it doesn't necessarily mean you will become a mother but it means you are in your nurturing phase you will most probably um, like to care, take care of what you do and nurture it, nurture yourself but also you can implement it in your business so um, do whatever associations you have to what mother does mothers are not only sitting on the couch and not doing anything, they are very active uh, but they are caring about somebody else that they are or something else uh, third stage is um, called represented in an archetype of a witch or a seer or um, a woman that that has some like, magical power and she influences her family and environment and business uh, with these powers so all her like, sexual energy, all her energy um, is very much connected with the nature and with a deeper layer, spiritual realm let's say, of everything. So in this space you are the most receptive uh, to practically apply in your daily life these spiritual things that you, you do and you will be probably very open and this is um, the third uh, week after menstruation and then there is a week of a menstruation and that is a week of a, of an old woman and this is a cycle uh, this is the end of the cycle means you should rest and prepare yourself for the next level next cycle next stage of your life and this is a female cycle and a uh, cycle of the female energy and why i have been explaining it so profoundly because as a society we have been neglecting um, female energy and working in the alignment with the female energy and we have been um, strengthening our male side let's say 
because also male energy is linked to your right side of the body and female energy is linked to the left side as well as right one is linked to your future to the desire to making things happen and left one is to the past to healing the past to connecting with your roots and this is the female part and you surely know that all our system is based on the right side of us and it's a little bit like you have been strengthening only one muscle and the body itself gets very disbalanced by this behavior so that's why i have been explaining the female cycle because that's also if you will understand the female cycle you will also understand your female part of your body your energy and that is what we should implement into our thinking how female energy works and when it is good to do things very actively and when it is good to prepare the next cycle and rest because it is very clear it is linked to the moon and if you listen to these cycles you can adjust your work to it it would be a huge shift for the whole society of course but it would be also a huge relief and to be honest i don't really think that we can miss this shift because it's already happening we are being forced to change our um, our energy and to focus more on, on the female part of it and the quicker you will do that voluntarily the quicker your business will thrive so this is the good news for you the lesson is implement your female energy in what you do and that is not the thing that you will um, change overnight probably because you will have to make up new solutions and for that use that thing that is very very dominant in female energy and that is intuition that is the connection to the spiritual part of us and if you do want to implement female energy into your business into your life but it's mostly about work because we've been working in the male energy mostly so if you want to implement female energy into your business you should primarily focus on implementing it into your life and then connect with it every day and be aware of old patterns of your behavior and try to implement new ones make a strategy really because without a strategy you will not be very successful in quickly adjusting something something it will take a long long time and you will probably fail many times if you don't have some plan so form a strategy how to implement one thing out of the female principle into your business and then if it's done then implement second thing that you intuitively feel connected to and this is really the fun part because if we do this in all departments of our life and of our society it would be completely a different society that is in the alignment with nature and why with nature because nature has a female nature <laughs> and uh, you can see that nature 
also works in cycles that are divided in four. We've got four seasons and that is how you will understand the female energy the most. If you connect to the nature and if you really deeply observe how it works and how long it takes when something grows and when it grows because in nature usually it takes the whole year when something grows and we as society we sometimes want immediate success and we think it's okay to to product more and more every day every season every month but there is according to our seasons of the nature a strict way when we should strict time when we should rest and prepare ourselves for the next cycle and then be very active and put the seeds into the soil and then nurture it take care of it then harvest it and connect with our ancestors and with the spiritual realm and honor everything we've we have received and after that rest again so this is the simple cycle and we can't make it quicker if you make it quicker then you exploit not just the soil but the whole planet and energy of the people around or your energy we should as people work with the alignment of the female energy so this is my message for you today it's actually a very happy message even though it's a lot of work but it's happy work because you know everybody will get relief at some point if we implement the female energy into our lives as we should and if the body will be mm, again balanced when female energy will be as strong as the male energy as right hand is as strong as left hand so this is what I wanted to show today and have a nice day bye